For this presentation, we will be discussing the importance of your mental health on your body. It's pretty obvious that your mental health depends on your body. If you aren't happy with the way your body looks, you'll often be more self-conscious and insecure. There are also plenty of studies that show exercise not only tones your body, but reduces brain fog and improves memory and clarity. However, what most people overlook is that your mental health also affects your body. I don't just mean that if you don't feel up to exercising, you aren't going to burn as much fat, though that is a big part of it too. What I mean is that there have also been studies that show that the more stressed you are, the more likely you are to catch a cold, the flu, or even COVID in these current times. So it's important to take care of your mind and your body in equal parts. Let's discuss what taking care of your mind to take care of your body looks like. With so much to think about all the time, like bills, insurance, salary, and family, it can be hard not to feel overwhelmed or stressed out most of the time. Most people report feeling anxious for at least some part of their life. Stress and fear both create a fight-or-flight response in the body, which leads to increases in hormones such as cortisol or adrenaline. These are important at certain times, but when they're always being released in large amounts, it leads to a hormonal imbalance. These hormones can increase your resting heart rate above what is recommended, which can lead to heart problems. Inflammation can also occur in the body, leading to aches and pains as well as improper circulation. Even digestive issues can occur. Irritable bowel syndrome is one of those symptoms that can occur when your mental health is in poor condition. People also tend to drift to higher levels of substance abuse when they're stressed, depressed or anxious. So as you can tell, declining mental health can impact almost every part of your body, from your immune system to your stomach. This is why keeping mental and physical health in good quality is so important. So, what are some steps that you can take to improve your mental health? Funnily enough, it starts with your physical health. As I mentioned at the beginning, exercise can help to clear your mind and improve your memory. Keeping active is key, even if it's just a few times a week. Meditation and mindfulness are two other important parts of handling mental health. Being able to clear your mind and reduce stress and anxiety are also important. It doesn't help much to exercise if you're worried about all the bills you have to pay while doing it. There are times to stress and there are times to let it go. Taking time to meditate and focus on breathing can help. They can also allow you to focus on the positive and to bring those thoughts to the forefront rather than dwelling in stress and anxiety on things you can't change right now. Sometimes, finding other ways to reduce stress, such as playing with a family pet, spending time in nature, getting enough sunlight, or even keeping a journal may work well. It's about taking the time to learn about your mental health and what works for you. When you go to the gym or exercise, you make the effort to find something that you enjoy or that seems to feel best for your body. It's important to do the same for your mind. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.